Thank you very much, Carlos. Um, from the whole speech, I was most impressed by the psychedelic experience. I was like really, really, really listening to you very, very, very attentively. Thank you very much. But I'm sure you are uh, evaluated today. You will say much more. Okay. Our next prepared speech is from Julie. Julie was born on the 12th of July. The same sign as Carlos, the same sign as, uh, yes, today we have two persons from the same sign. And because I know Julie, she is distinguished in many fields. She is a distinguished Toastmaster. She, is, she has PhD in chemistry. She has done a lot of things, like she is a almost very, very famous photographer, blogger. She has seen life and she has a lot of stories to share. But one thing I want to point out that I haven't heard anybody say about Julie, but I will say this, which also relates to Julie's sign, and that is mother. Julie is such a wonderful mother to her children and grandmother to her grandchildren. They have like um, they have a really good connection with her. And she is also like a mother to a lot of Toastmasters, meaning that while she is our friend and fellow a colleague Toastmaster, she is also a very, very nurturing type. We have created together a witty storytellers, and now she's a mentor in witty birds. Julie is extremely busy lady, but I said, if you keep coming, and if you keep sharing your story, that will be the best mentoring you, you can make. Now, Viviana will introduce Julie's speech, and we will listen to Julie. Viviana. Hello. Julie will do the from a communication uh, communication for okay. The Julie's uh, speech is I'm evaluating for understanding your communication skill. So the purpose is uh, of this project is for members to learn about different communication styles and identify his or her primary style. The purpose of this speech is for members to share the impact of his or her style on others. So the time is five to seven minutes. Let's welcome Julie. Thank you, Julie. Uh, thank you, Viviana. Before Julie starts, I want to say a few more words. Uh, let's congratulate Julie. She finished the first level of Pathways. There aren't many people among us who are already in Pathways, and Julie is there. Now, this speech belongs to her second level, and the, um, the module is called Visionary Communication, Communicator. And um, welcome, Julie. Thank you. What is your communication style? That was the question, Madame Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and guests. It was asked at the second level of second project from me. What? How can I know my communication style? They put me to a test and then they told me I am initiator. What? Okay, I look better. Uh, what was written about them? And it was written, you like storytelling. Yeah. And you like to be these people. Yes. So that is true. But then they told me what it really matters it is not what is your preferred communication style, although it is very good you know it, but what is the communication style of those whom, with whom you connect? That is more difficult thing, really. 
but that is what really matters. The other's communication style. And how they perceive me when they see me the first time and later. I was 77 years old already when I found out how much communication styles matter and how to find the same communication style somehow with others. I decided to go to a stand-up comedy workshop and found myself in a room with ten young men and me. It began very well. We had a room with tea and cakes and some of them even smiled at me. Others didn't look at all. Uh, but it went down from there. As soon as we begin the meeting, we went sitting around the room with our uh, back at the uh, wall and the workshop leader went the other end of the room. I was far from him. What? What is he saying? I don't understand. He observed my faces. The faces I made because he was a cockney and he spoke an English I didn't understand besides being far away. And he told me, Julie, I think you are in a wrong workshop. Instead of stand-up comedy, you should go to clone, clone workshop. And all the young men around me laughed at me, not with me. And then he told us that we should begin our stand-up comedy from where we are, how people perceive us, and to help us realize how others see us, he told, I am a black. I didn't realize until then he was black. <laughs> I didn't see that he was black. I just see him someone I don't understand. And you are a red-haired. And you, Julie, are old. And then he asked everyone, what do you think when you think of old? And all the ten told, I didn't recognize myself at all in what they told. What? I am not like that? And then the next time I told them that you really should know that is a young girl lurking inside me somewhere, a mischievous girl. That, uh, that was their reaction, even worse. So then I didn't open my mouth for two weeks. We met every week for eight weeks. And then it was St. Patrick Day and the bus stopped and I had to walk a lot. And as I walked, my left knee began to hurt more and more. And before I arrived, a little bit late to the meeting, I had my beginning. I will tell them. And I went and I begin. I am 77 year old. Stand up comedy at 77? I can barely stand on my feet. What the fuck I am doing in this shit? And they all laughed. It was their language. It is how they spoke, all of them. They understood me. And the ice was broken. 
from that minute. And I went a few weeks later to our first showcase with 120 young men and women, girls and boys. And I begin the same way and again. They all laughed. It worked. And I added what happened that morning. And I told them. My daughter called me this morning and told me, Mom, you shouldn't speak like that. Not you. How? These four-letter words? And I looked around. But she is not here. And everyone laughed even more. And 77 times I went to a comedy workshop and it always worked because at the, at the moment it was no more me and them. It was us. A bridge was formed and I learned. And I understood that what we really need is to speak same language somehow. So I made a stage persona. And at the end, I even told them what my workshop leader told at the last meeting. Julie, I fucking love, love your shit. It was not my French understanding, but finally I understood. What he meant, finally I used his communication style. Madame Toastmaster.